ladies and gentlemen i need everybody to do me a quick favor and reach all the way back all the way back i know it's been so many years i think it's been a little bit over a decade now since friday the 13th the game came out which was definitely interesting a little overpowered as the killer when you played as jason but i'm pretty i'm pretty damn sure if i'm not mistaken that this is this is the map or at least this is this is the lake that uh that jason Voorhees, unfortunately you know drowned and uh, became the mass murderer that we all know and love i hope everybody is doing good today if it is close to the weekend then go ahead and drop down below in the comment section what you guys have planned for this weekend if you guys have any really cool plans if you guys are going anywhere you know uh anywhere that you guys haven't been before maybe on vacation i know it's still summer and uh, people are you know still going out and doing vacation stuff um but yeah let me know how you guys are doing down in the comments um if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more go ahead down in the comment section below and let me know what you guys liked about it that you guys want to see more it really helps me know that you guys enjoy watching this type of content and if you guys are feeling so inclined please go ahead and absolutely smash that subscribe button now when i say smash the subscribe button i, I don't just mean I, I don't mean just just tap it I mean, break your fucking PC, break your computer. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kidding. Please don't do that. I don't, I don't really want, you know, people's parents messaging me, telling me that they have to buy, you know, the new son or daughter, uh, a, a PC or a laptop. <laughs> that is not my aim here. Um, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy it, please, it really, really helps the channel. It really helps me grow. Uh, but without further ado, I really hope you guys enjoy this. Now, I don't. I don't know if there's actually an easter egg attributed to this map if there's not then we'll just see how long we can survive for if there is then we'll figure it out and uh you know we'll, we'll end the map in the traditional fashion like we always do and uh, that'll be that but i guess we'll just have to wait and see um i'm assuming that there is going to be some sort of a pack a punch i kind of want to keep my m1911 here's the power um this does seem like it is just one big huge one room challenge so that's nice unless no no we do have a debris that makes me really really happy actually i do like bigger maps uh let's go and get some knife kills it's still early on i don't really want to be wasting points with the uh with the spaz this would be really useful oh could have got some extra value out of that zombie go ahead and flame me down in the comment section below because i am not efficient whatsoever with my points um <laughs> guess you hear that nice little round change I, I i have to say i absolutely love what some like what some creators do with their custom zombies maps they always they always find a way to add in something that's so personal about about the map itself something that stands out um you know if you guys have been watching along with the the other content that i've been uh creating i did i did record um obviously i don't know for sure there could have been some audio issues like there, there there sometimes is and i can't release videos but i did record um somebody who actually made their cabin into a zombies map which is something that i've always kind of like fantasized about doing you know, there, there's there's areas in my life like um, uh, schools, a hospital that I work at, where I'd be like, that'd be really cool if somebody turned it into a zombies map. But I do not have the time nor the willpower to actually turn it into a zombies map myself. And so it lays forever dormant in the back of my mind. <laughs> um, let me know if there's a, a certain area in your guys' life, maybe a, a certain place that you guys find a little bit eerie, that if it was made into a zombies map, it would just add a little bit extra, like a little bit extra of a layer or like nostalgia um i know when i was a kid i was definitely uh, de <laughs> definitely no no no, i'm not deaf i was deathly afraid of my basement oh my god my basement was so so creepy when i was a kid man i used to um uh, i used to watch all the nightmare and elm street movies and i got deathly afraid that that freddy krueger was down there like so much so that I was having such bad nightmares and you know waking my parents up it, it was such a pain in the ass to them um but yeah let me know if you guys have any like similar stories <laughs> we're gonna go and swap out the m1911 right now though I do want to try to rack up a little bit more points um 
Oh, hey buddy, you got an axe to the shoulder. I don't think you're coming back from that one. Looks like you've been partaking in drinking. I hope you're uh, of age and have a little bit of a... Or have some sort of identification on you, sir. Because I'm going to need to see an ID. Uh, I'm not too sure if you're of legal age. Oh man, the Mac 11. Good old throwback. I really, I really, really miss the days of BO1 where zombies was completely new and I still had zero clue that you could get out of the starting room. Um, I don't know if any, any of you guys kind of have a similar experience for, you know, when you guys first start playing zombies, but I, I literally, I was playing Kino, you know, when I was maybe like 9 or 10. Uh, I can't even remember what, what year Black Ops 1 came out, but um, what I do know... Okay, there we go. What I do know is that I spent... Probably the first 10 to 15 games that I ever played of BO1 Without leaving the uh, the starting room. So I was literally doing starting room challenges as a kid without even knowing that it was a thing and um, Yeah, that's just a that's a little fun fact of my of my childhood um, You know when, we were, <laughs> when zombies first came out man, everything was so so new Unfortunately, I didn't get to enjoy the world war or world at war days um but I definitely got to enjoy, you know, the uh, the, the not so great. Oh, so the end game is right there. The not so great BO2. BO2 had, had some great concepts. I, I really hope they bring like a, a, a transit remake back. That'd be fucking sick. Um, oh, but Origins. Origins Chef Kiss for sure. Oh my god. I remember when Origins first came out and I, I just. Mm, 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 I got fully invested in zombies. That's when I started, you know, listening to like. Mr. Ralph Waffles and everybody start talking about the, the zombie storyline and all that stuff. Oh my god, I remember those days where everything was just so new and we had no clue what was going on in the storyline. But now, sadly, it is over because all great heirs have to come to an end. I know, it's really sad. What I really hope for the future, though, is that they bring back... Oh, so Pack-a-Punch is just right here. All right. Yep, and I think that, I think that's it. Yeah, this is this is the map. This is pretty dope. I like it. Um, but I I really hope that uh, with Bo6 coming out, finally bringing back round based zombies map. I don't know, I don't know about you guys, but obviously obviously I'm a huge fan of playing round based zombies. I love playing solo. I love just being able to just you know chillax like this and just play a game that I absolutely love and I'll probably end up loving you know for the rest of my life um hey buddy hey buddy there we go but yeah I hope they I really hope they don't do a bad job I hope they do um obviously I hope they do a good job but I, re I really hope they do a stellar job than what they've been you know kind of promoting or making recently um, I have a really unbiased opinion. I don't know if I don't know if you guys share this kind of opinion, but I don't. I'm not a really big fan of uh, um, what you might call it, uh, Warzone. I I never really bought into it. Uh, I did play Apex. I obviously played Fortnite when that first came out because first couple of seasons, <laughs> seasons, seasons uh, were definitely peak in my opinion. Uh, when building was brand new and people weren't sweating the shit out of the game. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Okay. Okay. I think we're safe. But, yeah, I feel like ever since Warzone kind of came out, they've been allocating a lot of resources um, out into, you know, that. I mean, uh, rightly so. I mean, they are a company after all. And so making money is their top priority. So if you have a portion of a game that's making the most amount of money, well, as a businessman, that's what you're going to do. You're going to try to get out as much money from your well community as much as you can now i can't say i agree with it i can't say that i like it but my opinion is my opinion and your opinion is your opinion so that, that's pretty cool <laughs> damn it dude what i keep getting shotguns i just want another gun that's like kind of like a money maker you know I, I need to find jug though i i that that's a top priority um i'm pretty sure i've seen it around here Door? Nope. No door. Have I just been being stupid? Where is that? Oh, it's right over there. Okay. 
All right, let's hit the box one more time. Let's get our set loadout. I think I'm going to keep the spaz for maybe like a... Um... Oh my god, really? I cannot stand getting one one tap weapons right now. I, I we, we really need the points. We need the points. If, if the box is going to give me any gun back, I would greatly appreciate the MN-1011 back. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, I'd have to get rid of the spaz though, because that would turn into my oh shit weapon. Granted that it can kill me. Okay, speak of the devil. There we go. Um, ask and you shall receive, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I hope they really do a good job with this next Call of Duty game. Um, it seems like the community's, you know, stayed strong. And, um... I mean, I... I I mean, basically, like, that's that's kind of like, that's kind of the majority of it. The only reason why Call of Duty Zombies is still around, you know, still thriving, um, still even in consideration as to why they're bringing back, you know, round base is, I, I think, largely in, in, in because of the community. Um, that's my own personal opinion, I think, because we uh, haven't been, you know, the happiest in years, and we do have, you know, great content creators such as Mr. Roth Waffles and, uh, a couple others like Noah, Noah, um, Noah J four five six, um, just name a few. But yeah, I feel like we've been keeping this this uh this community afloat. I know that you know Black Ops has been having uh really good success with uh, I did play Cold War. I, they they are having really good success with you know the recent titles they've released, um. I've heard a lot of backlash from the community uh, about the recent titles, but once again, you know, I mean, numbers are just the numbers at the end of the day. They're a business, they're a corporation, and that's all they really care about. So you have to look at the numbers in terms of their perspective and see where their success lies. It seems like they've been an okay. Um, but I think, oh man, I think they're going to make a lot of money off of round base. I think this is exactly what we want. Uh, I'm not saying um, I... I'm against open world zombies. I kind of wish we had the best of both worlds, if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Uh, I think open world zombies is such a great concept. Um, I unfortunately have not played any of the Modern Warfare titles, so I don't know exactly how the, the flow of that game feels. I have watched some streams. But I don't have like a personal opinion on it. Because um, I haven't played it. So the only thing I can I can give you guys is my my superficial outsider opinion on it and I, I think you know it's it's fine it's 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 got its own little perks it brings a lot of uh joy and happiness to the community uh, i like some of the concepts they brought to light and i just hope that, that carries over to this new title you know i really hope they continue to adapt and you know may, maybe maybe a, a call of duty title with with jug in it would be really really nice <laughs> uh shout out to black ops 4 <laughs> Um, I think, I think alongside of, you know, Blackout, uh, basically, you know, um, pre-Warzone, if, if you should say, uh, along with, like, a, a big, a big downfall, in my opinion, for the community, was losing Jason Blundell. I mean, that, that man, his, his, uh, the way that he expresses his story... Sorry, I knew that was gonna be loud. The way that he just expresses, you know, the story that he has in mind was something I always really loved. And I always looked forward to playing his maps that were filled with, um, you know, that were always filled with mini Easter eggs, uh, a huge Easter egg that's always so challenging to figure out. Um, and, and just, uh, just just the amount of what's the word i'm looking for man i, I can't even think of it um now nah, i'll come back to it I, I i guess i'll just say he put a lot of a lot of feeling into his uh his story he, he made it was very personal to him i mean it was pretty it was pretty apparent you know somebody somebody clearly cares about the game and the community um zombies chronicles 2 was was huge i think that was the most involved that he got with uh, the zombies community which i absolutely love i, I kind of wish I kind of wish game devs 
kind of did that a little bit more once again i'm not a game developer i don't know how much time goes in developing games maintenance and games and overseeing you know that entire project as a whole um but man i feel like as a community we could just really appreciate you know seeing a dev you know just out in person just being a regular human being and uh you know chilling with the the, the top content creators of their game You know, I feel like that's like the best way they give back to the community. Um, or at least the most impactful way they do. I know we appreciate it the most, for sure. Alright, I think we're doing pretty decent on points. I want to see how much I think it's 30 grand it is it's just 30 grand so that that should uh that should be no problem um who's back here again do you want to get speed cola I think that's it that's all the perks on this map uh so I think we're just chilling you know with the classic four um might not pack a punch for the time being only because I I do enjoy a money maker um, the, I mean, the, the HK24 is, or 21 is definitely not, you know, your ideal moneymaker. Um, but as the rounds progress, maybe we, we get another box spin here in a sec. And, uh, get a little bit better of a weapon for making money. I might give up the M1911, actually. I don't really think I'm gonna need the Mustang and Sally's. Um, plus I think it's a little too close. Well, actually, no, I, I, I could, I could be just fine with them. But, uh, I think we need another gun. Um... Especially want to make us a little bit more money. Because this, this just ain't doing it right now. And don't get me wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to get rid of you guys. I would love for you guys to stay forever. And when I say forever, I mean forever. Never leave the channel. Keep on clicking on every single one of my videos. And even if you don't like it. Too bad. Keep watching it. <laughs> No, but seriously, like, your guys' feedback for uh, for my channel is is greatly appreciated. Any sort of comments that you guys you guys do uh, put in the comment section, I do read all of them. Um, I've had some really really nice comments uh, in the past about uh, other maps that I've sorry I was focused. Oh, uh, other maps that I have come out. Uh, oh my god, recorded. There we go. Sorry guys, I got really sidetracked. Other maps I have recorded, and uh, your guys' feedback is, uh, it's something that I wish you guys could kind of understand for yourselves. I mean, when you when you guys get other people who basically don't know you at all, and they tell you how much they love your videos, it just makes me want to make even more videos. <laughs> like, it... I don't know i don't know how to explain it. it like it sparks it sparks something inside of me to just keep keeping extremely motivated um and it makes me feel extremely appreciated like I, i'm finding the community that i'm you know belonging to I'm, I'm still you know still still learning this whole youtube thing um everything is still i'd say relatively new to me i don't even have a year underneath my belt just yet um about halfway there though so that's pretty cool i've learned a lot along the way and you guys have been extremely helpful with the uh, amount of feedback you guys have given me so far so i do thank you guys for that but that does not mean to stop giving me feedback because <laughs> i need it i really do chris go bam Oh, this is why I don't snipe. This is exactly why I don't snipe. Oh, that was max ammo. I kind of want that. All right. Jeez. Kind of forgot about this gun. <laughs> Dude, am I gonna get all the snipers first? Oh my gosh, you might as well consider this a fucking sniper. Jeez, that actually might not be a bad gun for points. Probably gonna be better than the FAL. Ah, 
a little risky though. I don't really want to die. Might keep this gun for my pack a bunch gun though. It's pretty peak. Where's the fire sale at though? I need to start saving my money and stop spending it all. I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually so hyped for the Omni movement. Um, I I know that people have mixed emotions about it, and rightfully so. Um, I can either see it being something that's pretty fairly balanced and uh, has a lot of value to the game, or is uh, extremely annoying. Because the last thing you want is somebody backing up like this, sprinting and diving and doing like a really weird like, <laughs> like really weird trick shot. That is the one thing that'll be really cool though, is to see like the different types of trick shots people come out, um, come out, um, Jesus, I can't even talk. It's gonna be really cool to see what kind of trick shots people end up, you know, making and, uh, seeing their creativity come to fruition. Um, that's always something that's really, really cool about the community. Just any, any game, there's always somebody who finds out like some sort of like a really cool mechanic and it's always so much fun to try it. Even though I suck <laughs> at most games. <laughs> it's always really, really fun to, you know, like, uh, dream of trying to do some really cool things that some of your favorite YouTubers do. Almost halfway there almost halfway there and then you, and then you guys can hop off the video but until then you guys you guys have to stay here like I, I don't i don't care if your parents came in the room and said you know lights out or i don't care if you guys have kids and your kids came in the room ignore them put like just just face palm them and say listen son or daughter i have about 10 minutes left of this video not even so just let me be and there you go now you have your excuse to continue to watch my video I don't, I don't want to hear the excuses for why you have to off the video. <laughs> you have to keep on watching. <laughs> Ew. Where's the double points at? No, I don't want that. Fucking insta kill. I basically have that bitch already. Here we go. Okay. Um, I, are there any dog rounds? I don't think we've gotten any actually. Nope, I don't think there's any dog rounds actually. Which reminds me of the origin sky. I I really I really wonder what it takes to make maps like this. Because it's gotta it's gotta take some time, regardless of how you know simple or complex maps may seem to be. Like it's gotta take some time, man. I I will say, I will say, um, there have been a lot of custom zombie maps. That I still really, really want to record. That I will be recording in the future. Um, but yeah, there are some custom zombie maps that I have to say are kind of Treyarch level. And that's kind of sad to say, you know, considering we've had um, games like Vanguard. Where, once again, I haven't played. I've just heard what the communities have been saying about it. Um, but it's pretty shit. <laughs> and, I mean, that's always like, that's always been something that's kind of like irritated me. Now, I don't know if I could really have that opinion because, once again, not a game dev. I don't know how much time it takes to, like, you know, develop these types of maps, especially Easter eggs alone. Um, but it's always really irritating me having, you know, big corporations kind of fall short with their production. Um, it almost kind of seems like they've been packaging a game. And 
put in as minimum amount of effort as they can to try to maximize the revenue they're gaining. Which, I mean, it, it's that's always a smart business strategy, you know? Like, you want to try to put as little into something and the maximum return. Um, but... I guess that's what you would call your ROI, your return on investment. But I don't know. It just just as somebody who really enjoys playing zombies, it kind of really irritates me when this mode continues to fall short. Because I think we've kind of proven at this point that you know if Treyarch really wanted to make a fuck ton of money, they could absolutely package their own um, Call of Duty Zombies game. I'm a firm believer they could absolutely just sell their own Call of Duty Zombies game. No multiplayer needed. You know, I mean, they'd have to come up with content, you know, pretty regularly, I feel like. But, I mean, I feel like I feel like that opens up such a gateway for, like, you know, the, the, open, the open world type of, uh, you know, zombies that a lot of the, the fans really like to see. And then, you know, some hardcore zombie fans that, like, I like to see. Like, I really want to see some variation in this upcoming game. Because as much as I love the community being able to complete Easter eggs, which is fantastic. You know, this... In the past, some of these game titles have been really hard completing Easter eggs, but I want, I really wish they give us the option. I want the best of both worlds. I want the option to be able to, you know, play the hardest difficulty with zero help and just try to do the Easter egg bare bones, you know? And then for your more casual player, you know, maybe they get a loadout in the beginning of the game. Um, you know, they get all four perks, or all, uh, X amount of perk slots they want. Um, those are just a few things, you know, I kind of wish they do with the upcoming titles. And I, I just, I, I feel like, depending on how much effort they want to put into it, it actually wouldn't be, like, really that hard. Um, but then again, you know, <laughs> like I said it a thousand times, I'm not a game dev, so I don't, I don't really know, nor am I able to appreciate how much work goes into these types of games and so just leave it at that now now we do have enough to buy the bible ending um however i do i do want to see what other types of guns are in here we'll probably go one more round we'll end it i'll let you get back to your family or your friends or uh you know your next youtube video whatever you guys are, are doing for the rest of the night or it could be middle of the day um but as always, I, I always appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to even watch these these types of videos. Um, it is really nice, you know, seeing that people enjoy the type of content that I'm producing. Um, and like I said, it just makes me want to make more. So it makes me really happy. So thank you guys for that. for those of you guys who have been watching my content i think you guys have seen me get the aug in like almost every single one of my maps i kind of run this this gun damn near to death if, I, if, I, if i'd say now let's get a here we go all right, this will be the last round. We'll end on round 20. We will end it on round 20. Ooh, I have something really fun. Go ahead and drop down in the comments below what your guys' highest round on Doris was. Catwalk only. I don't care about the training stuff. We, we all know that at some point you've gotten, or hopefully, you've gotten to get uh, on the game with a couple other buddies, or maybe one other buddy, and just camp that camp that catwalk. There There's nothing more enjoyable in life than going back and playing Doris and just camping on the fucking catwalk, dude. It is such a vibe, and it's always so much fun, like, just trying to get to round 40 is such a grind. At least it was for me. 
Um, but I'd be really surprised if like, you know, some people have gotten up to around like, you know, 50 and plus. That, that'd that be pretty insane. But I really wouldn't put it past the community. You guys are capable of anything. But enough of that. Thank you guys so much for tagging along today and staying throughout the rest of the video. It means the absolute world to me. If you guys like this content, you guys want to see more, go ahead and down below in the comment section and let me know that you guys want to see more of this content. If you guys feel so inclined, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for future uploads. But it's been fun being your host, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.